Hello and welcome to the next part in my project of seeking out the possible real world inspiration behind the art and the tools and vehicles we use in Foxhole. These videos are many for those who are curious now about either the history and want to do a deep dive or for those who need a reference for creating the game's weapons or vehicles for their own creative projects. This time our focus will be both on vehicles and weaponry of either faction of the game. Now like with the uniforms I covered in my previous videos I must point out this is still guesswork here. I am making my conclusions with observation of real world surviving examples and using my years of book reading and grognard world gaming experience. I may not even be correct with some, or I could have just scored a lucky guess. I will of course be using sources from my own private library of books, but I am also helped out by the others who have contributed on the game's official wiki, as well as both Wikipedia and the Internet Movie Firearms database, as well as other source websites. Like we saw in my previous video entries, the Foxhole concept and render artists of Siege Camp use artistic license uh, of the game being set in an alternate fantasy universe to take and use multiple real world examples from many different sources. With the vehicles and weapons of the game, this stand is still in full effect. Some nations are more influential than others, but with each weapon or vehicle having many different parts, they usually end up with a semi fictional composite example that fits the theme of either faction in the game. Before we begin with weaponry now, a brief history lesson. Back in Foxhole's early access days when Siege Camp was clapped they were still setting up their studio and to save time they bought and modified some 3D model assets themed around the Second World War armies, which both sides used until their official art team began to remodel and replace some of them. This explains some of the older looking weapons of the game. For example, the original bolt action rifle for both factions was a modified M1 Garand model, which was only just recently replaced a few updates back. In recent times though, the art team for the game is working hard to ensure the weaponry of both factions both look and sound different for every weapon, and hopefully in a year's time the older stock models will be replaced with law friendly high quality assets. Now on to the content of the video itself. I will be providing if I can both in-game 3D renders, concept art and images in a slideshow format for browsing purposes. In the video's information panel will be the URL for each subject for further reading. So with all that said, please enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.